So if you have a condition of a soft tissue injury like uh, lateral epicondylitis or medial epicondylitis, otherwise known as tennis elbow or golfer's elbow, these can be extremely difficult to get over and can be long-term chronic musculoskeletal injuries. So with the laser, I use the massage ball head. So if I'm dealing with lateral epicondylitis, I'm actually gonna go very lightly right over the lateral epicondyle uh, where the swelling or inflammation is and most of the pain because they've got inflammation to the tendon. And I'm gonna use this and go down into the muscles of the forearm, the extensors. And this is one where I can add a lot more pressure. So I'm actually gonna cradle the arm from behind and then I'll come in from the front so I can have counter pressure pushing this way and then them going down so I can really get a nice effective release in that area and I'll just gauge patient response to what they're feeling and then I'll actually stop and I'll move the massage ball head around a little bit and release some of the trigger points or knots or adhesions that I feel in there and then go all the way down. So you can see the difference of I'm doing this as opposed to that it pushes back in and away. So this is a very great way to get feedback from the body and extra counter pressure. And I will also have the patient do some flexion and extension with the wrist. So she'll go into extension to what's comfortable and then go down into flexion as I'm going through the forearm muscles as well. And make sure you go all the way down to the wrist. So if I'm dealing with medial epicondylitis or Garfield's elbow, it's the same exact technique, but now I'm going on the inside here. I'm gonna cradle it right around the ulna, do my isolation, and then I'm gonna apply the counter pressure this way. So I'm gonna come in from here and go up inside the arm and work more of the flexor tendons of the forearm. So now I can move this around here, gauge pace and response, and then she's gonna go into flexion and extension again. So now I can do the inside.